Hey guys, I've been playing There Is No Light, which is a new action RPG by Zellar that was released earlier this week on 19th September. Over the week, I've played it for a couple of hours and I'll share my thoughts with you. There Is No Light is an action adventure RPG with the pixel art style. It's also supposed to be a Souls-like game with characteristic punishing gameplay and bosses. The Steam store page comes with a before you buy warning, which says... There Is No Light isn't a typical action-adventure game. It's for players that value a serious challenge and searching for answers on their own. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring and other Souls games, and I love pixel art games like Stardew Valley, so I was really looking forward to There Is No Light. Unfortunately, this game turned out to be a big disappointment. Let's start with the graphics. The pixel art and visuals seem to be have done very poorly, there are some really polished pixel art games out there, but There Is No Light doesn't seem to be one of them. The combat system is what surprised me the most. You have a basic attack, a dodge, and an ability that you can unlock later in the game. The game comes with two difficulty levels, Traveler, which is an easy mode, and Warrior, which is the regular or hard mode. Even on the Warrior difficulty, combat just involves standing still and button mashing, and occasionally dodging to avoid AoE effects like fire on the ground. I was expecting at least the boss fights to be a bit more complex, especially after the before you buy warning they put in the game. The devs leave it to you to discover the story and find answers. What I gathered was that there is no light, it's dark everywhere, you can't see where you're going. You can clearly see enemies inside the darkness who are about to jump at you, so that's kind of nice. It's an RPG, but there doesn't seem to be any level systems or stat system. You just seem to have to find something called Death Essence that lets you unlock skills and upgrade your weapon. The game tells you that you can get this Death Essence from killing monsters or finding some special wilds. There are a few skills in the game. If you select one of them, it shows you a preview of what it does. It doesn't look like any of these are skills or abilities are particularly useful though or interesting. This is the inventory screen. You can see here what weapons you have up top. So far I only have one and it seems to be overpowered enough to not need an upgrade. I also seem to be missing 29 of something and 23 of something else. If you're looking for a good action RPG with full controller support on PC, I highly recommend you check out Hades on Steam or the PlayStation Store. It's an awesome action RPG with an amazing art style, excellent story and gameplay and is so much better than this crap that they're trying to peddle for $25 on Steam. In any case, if you'd still like to give There Is No Light a shot, I'd recommend you wait until it goes on sale. Anyway, this was just my opinion. Granted, I didn't play for very long, but I really couldn't bring myself to play anymore when there's so many other games out there that are so much better. I also didn't want to play too long so I could still get my refund on Steam and buy something better instead. Uh, 22 and a half euros is quite a lot to spend on a game like this. But I hope you liked this review. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps out the channel and let me know in the comments below what you thought about the game.